So guys, about to go down to the riding hall to go trick riding just after our lunch break. And I thought I'd just quickly show you, I've just realized how dirty my mirror is. I will just quickly show you what I'm wearing because I don't generally tend to wear riding pants or breeches for, uh, for trick riding. I tend to wear leggings. So you can, of course you can ride in, uh, in, in jodhpurs and so on for trick riding, but um, I tend to find I rip them a lot, uh, like with certain tricks that I do. So to save myself some money from constantly breaking expensive pairs of pants, I just generally have some really cheapo, nothing special uh, leggings. They also just give me that little bit more elastic elasticity that a uh, trick uh, the jodhpurs or riding pants would usually give me. So uh, I've got this on now. Oh, and a, and a sporty kind of t-shirt, nothing fancy. Uh, I got this on now. I'm going to head down the riding hall and change into my trick riding shoes. So, first things first, we've got to go catch Picasso, because he spent the afternoon... Oh. <laughs> I think somebody needs rescuing from the fly mask he managed to rub off. Good job, Peaky. <laughs> so, I will uh, catch him, take... Yeah, take that mask off and get him inside. <laughs> you clown. So, the horses are in. I've saved... Uh... Picasso from his fly mask. Uh, I'm just giving them a few minutes to like kind of cool down. It's quite warm outside, so get used to the change of temperature again. And while they do that, uh, I'm going to put up the trick riding fence, put on my trick riding shoes, and uh, prepare Picasso, and then start warming up. This is James's uh, thought process going on here. <laughs> Single wall. Single wall flat onto the neck. Into plank on the belly. Onto no. Yeah, onto the neck. Into plank on the belly. Through onto the floor. Against the pace. Onto the neck. Yeah. Onto the floor. Onto the side. Complete. In the saddle. No doubles. I mean, it doesn't need doubles. They're tidy tricks, but. Uh... Move up. Move up back. Up to the neck. Back on the belly. Up to the neck. Into. Back on the side, into complete, into the saddle, into plank on the belly, through, onto the floor, run, 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 through. Oh, that'd be nice, yeah. Up onto the saddle, uh, maybe from through directly into the wall. Do yes. Do you not think you might run a little bit when you do through to prepare you for doubles? Or to not prepare you for doubles on the other hand. Maybe I'll just see it. I was gonna say maybe feel it. Into into either into the saddle and then into beer turn into double bolts. Blimey! Okay. That should be enough, man. You. Yeah. Pablo yeah. as well because I literally did like trick 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 so guys, trick riding shoes. Uh, as you can see, mine has a hole in it. That's uh, the reality of training. I do have a nicer pair for um, for oops, sorry, Jim, for shows, obviously. James has got some very fashionable, funky coloured ones on, uh, and they're wrestling boots. Uh, for the simple reason that we like a bit of ankle. God, I could not show you that. Uh, for the simple reason that we like a bit of ankle support, particularly like for vaulting and some of the gold tricks as well and you can trick ride and a lot of people do trick ride in boots riding boots 
<sighs> James is really anti trick riding and riding boots. Um, considering I used to do it. So, what was that? What, what did you use to trick ride in? Boots. <laughs> I start off in boots as well, to be fair. Uh, we just find with these, you get like a lot more flexibility. So you are able to uh, point your toe, which it's is so much lighter. nice. And yes, they're a lot lighter, particularly when you guys are running. And yeah, they actually fit a lot of costumes a lot better, I find as well. Like, uh, like I've been in shows before now where we've been given like wrestling boots to trick ride in and they've like spray painted them funky colors to uh, match the... Um, match the costume and like you can see it's worn off now but these were painted black to hide the uh, to hide the stripes because we weren't allowed to use to use them in the show like that so uh, we hid them out I like wear chaps as well so yeah if you want to make them look like riding boots yeah put a pair of chaps on I mean like me in training I wear leg warmers and it, it's for no other reason than I just kind of like the look of that 70s. yeah and it's the covered in shavings but as I said like uh, I am trying to be as authentic uh, well, I am being authentic, I was going to say it's possible, but that's not the case. So uh, obviously like on show we're all polished and cleaned up and very well representable, but while we're at home, uh, obviously I can show you that we are not... Uh, we're clean, we're, we're clean and... Yeah, we're clean and representable, but we're most definitely comfortable. Ain't that right, cowboy? Ah, he's not impressed. <laughs> Tacking up time. James is just bringing Pablo to pop him in the shower because it's closer to the tack room. And I am about to take Picasso, disturb his uh, hay munching there, and I will pop him in the cross ties here, and we will get them ready for trick riding. Uh, very possibly. Uh, yeah, maybe just because I opened the whole thing up last time to put the cinches on. This kid is why you need to check your tricks out all the time. <laughs> because Emma's been meddling with it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in uh, Simba's stable. So, just started warming up. Uh, gonna spend about 20-30 minutes uh, warming up, nothing too hard, just working on like flexibility, suppleness, um, that sort of thing for them because they are athletes at the end of the day. And we're not gonna do too much trick riding because it's really warm, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, so that's it. James has just run up to the apartment to go ask his girlfriend to also come and film because his mission today is he actually wants to spend a little bit more time on himself and get maybe a couple of clips for Instagram. Um, yeah, so he's just gone to do that and then he's going to come and warm up Pablo with me. So, as you can see, we've got our beautiful trick riding fence up. Oh, here comes James. I'll have to be a bit careful. 
Uh, so, just to quickly tell you, the reason we trick ride... Oh, sorry. Uh, the reason we trick ride in a circle um, is mainly, other than shows, uh, is one, because it's safer, because if something goes wrong, that means one of us can catch the other or catch the horse, depending on how life goes. Um, so that's the first reason. And secondly, a, stri- a circle, as opposed to a straight line, it just gives you that bit more time to kind of work on the rhythm in the canter. Uh, for the horse and the balance and so on and like if if you're not sure about going into a trick a new trick or or you're not sure about the horse it just gives you that little bit more time to kind of make mistakes and correct it so that's why we're trick riding training in a circle um yeah that's about it for now uh james as you can see just made his first run anna's here (laughs) this is james's girlfriend she has uh popped down because yeah, James has uh, asked us to come down and make a video for him for Instagram to do some tricks today. So that's James's goal. And uh, my goal with Picasso here is nothing a lot, actually. Just have a bit of a play, rehearse some regular tricks that we do, and uh, see how we go, I guess. Nothing, uh, I haven't really got anything overly expected for today. So now I'm on board, my plan is just to move around a little bit, just to move my arms, move my legs, make sure Picasso is comfortable with my movement. He's been accelerating a little bit recently when I go into certain tricks, so I'm not really concentrating on myself today, More, I'm working more on his confidence, just making sure he feels comfortable and just keeping an even rhythm. So although my tricks are a little bit scruffy and far from perfect, uh, today's mission I, I guess is uh, just to keep a relaxed happy horse and see how we go.
Oh, come on, James. Time. I I can't even remember my own orders, let alone your orders. Remember the last show at Cavaluna? I wrote them down. <laughs> and checked them halfway through the number. <laughs> Easy, Pablo. Easy, big boy. Pista. Okay. Okay. Good boy, Pablo. Nice. Whew. My arms are aching. Oh my god, my head is just <laughs> uh, If you wanted to be really fussy, you could have a lot straighter roux. But the rest from what I can see from the camera, <laughs> I'm dead from holding it up over Anna. Uh, everything else looks pretty clean. Or as clean as you're gonna get for the first time anyway. So we've walked them both off and now Picasso is back in the shower. Uh, really happy with today's training session. It was nothing overly fancy, no big wow moments for me, but it was just nice to have him cool, calm and collected. And my tricks are not exactly uh, perfect looking today. They're a bit scruffy, but as I said before, it, it was more about him and less about me. So uh, yeah, overall really happy. And I know James is happy with his Instagram videos, so please pop over to his Instagram to check that out. And yeah, I'm gonna get him in the paddock and that is all from me today. That little picture in the middle of me trick riding is a subscribe button. Guys, please remember to click it because every subscriber really, really helps this channel. And for those that have already subscribed, a massive, massive thank you from me. Please feel free to drop me any questions or comments in the comments below because I love to hear from you guys. See you next week.